sounds like these have probably never been heard here at Ossiach Lake in southern Austria. These tiny flutes come from the Maffa people in Cameroon, the musicians from Austria and Germany. They're taking part in a workshop intended to explore the universal power of music. These unusual instruments pose quite a challenge. It's fascinating. You have to know how to use them. Producing a sound isn't that easy. It's not just noise. It depends on the listener and what culture they're from. Thomas Fritz from the Max Planck Institute for Human Cognitive and Brain Sciences is researching the ties between culture and music. For the Mafa, music has a different function than in the West. They sing certain melodies when they're washing or when certain types of crops are being harvested. I think the Mafa would be proud that their culture is catching on. And no doubt, they would have a real laugh if they could hear us playing Mafa flutes. Back in autumn 2005, Fritz traveled to a remote mountainous region in Cameroon to find out whether Western music can be understood by people who had only heard their own music up to then. I traveled to the Mandara Mountains because I was looking for people who had never heard Western music. To take part in the experiment, you should never have visited a church in your life. You should have lived a very traditional lifestyle. You should never have listened to the radio. Harder was among those who took part. He plays a key role in all the Muffa's flute rituals. During German colonial rule, he collected taxes from the villages, and he's believed to be 110 years old. In the experiment, the researcher played harder and more than 50 other participants piano pieces associated with certain emotions in Western culture. Is harder able to hear these emotions and describe them? An example for joy. An example for sadness. He was asked to point to the faces that best matched the sounds that he heard. That wasn't a problem for him, and he mostly pointed to the right faces. Despite all cultural differences, emotional expression in music appears to be globally understood. The reason could be rooted in the musical properties common to all languages. The melody of language, the kind of pauses that we make, where our voices rise and fall. That was the Mafa's connection to pieces of music composed according to Western musical theory. But how does the brain react when it's listening to music? Thomas Fritz wants to find out which areas of the brain respond using a brain scanner. I'll play the music in a second. It's not just any old music, but music that sounds harmonious to Western ears. Or rather, off-key. During his trip to Cameroon, Fritz discovered that the Mafa also prefer to listen to harmonious pieces of music. His current experiments with the scanner indicate that the brain perceives harmonious music to be more significant and screens out the discordant sounds. I suspect that this is a perception process that prefers signals of a higher order and tends to filter out background noise. Chaos and order. 
During his visit to Cameroon, Thomas Fritz also composed music himself and got the local children to sing along. Musical improvisation is a universal language of its own, because in this kind of improvisation, you are communicating on so many different levels, and you always find a common denominator. As a researcher, Thomas Fritz will continue to explore the universal aspect of music. As a musician, he's already experienced it, for a few moments at least.